Mushi pork is a dish of northern Chinese origin, possibly originating from Shandong. It is believed to have first appeared on the menus of Chinese restaurants in the United States in the late 1960s, and is also a staple of American Chinese cuisine. Description equals Chinese equals, in its traditional Chinese version, mushi pork consists of sliced pork tenderloin, cucumber, and scrambled eggs, stir-fried in sesame or peanut oil together with thinly sliced hudia mushrooms and inokitake mushrooms. The dish is seasoned with minced ginger and garlic, scallions, soy sauce, and rice cooking wine. Equals American Chinese equals, in the United States. The dish seems to have appeared in Chinese restaurants in New York City and Washington, D.C., in approximately 1966, receiving mention in a New York Times Guide to Washington, D.C., restaurants published in that year. One of the first restaurants in Manhattan to serve the dish was Pearl's, one of the best-known New York City Chinese restaurants to serve non-Cantonese food in the 1960s. A 1967 article in the New York Times states that another of the first restaurateurs to serve the dish in Manhattan was Emily Kuo, the owner of the Mandarin House, Mandarin East, and Great Shanghai restaurants. The dish was also early on the menu at Joyce Chen's, a celebrated pioneering Mandarin-style restaurant in Cambridge, Massachusetts. At that time, the dish was at first prepared in a traditional manner, but, as wood ears and daylily buds were scarce, a modified recipe was developed. In this modified recipe, which gradually came to predominate in North America, green cabbage is usually the predominant ingredient, along with scrambled eggs, carrots, day lily buds, wood ear mushrooms, scallions, and bean sprouts. The new recipe is more like the filling of Chinese spring pancake. Shiitake mushrooms, bok choy, snow pea pods, bell peppers, onions, and celery are sometimes also used, and dry sherry is often substituted for the huangzhu. The vegetables are generally sliced into long, thin strips before cooking. Equals variations equals, while these are the typical ingredients, there is some variation in the recipe from chef to chef or restaurant to restaurant. In both the Chinese and Americanized versions, monosodium glutamate, salt, sugar, cornstarch, and ground white pepper are also often added. In less authentic North American restaurants, the wood ears and day lily buds are often omitted entirely. Although most commonly made with pork, the same basic dish can be prepared by substituting another meat or seafood. Generally only a single meat is used. If made with chicken instead of pork, the dish is called mushi chicken, and the name is similarly altered if prepared with beef, shrimp or tofu. If prepared without any meat, it is called mushi vegetables. The name in Chinese, eo 3 e per mil, actually uses the word meat instead of pork so it can be with any meat. Many Chinese families use chicken but shrimp and beef are less common in home cooking. Lu, meaning gravy, is also made up by the standard ingredients of mushi pork, including day lily, wood ear, soy sauce, and starch. Lu or dalu, with gravy, similar to or just in Western cuisine. Lu, either vegetarian or with eggs or meat, is often used as a soup base for noodles. It can be like either a sauce or a soup. Lu is also used in a breakfast setting over soft tofu, often at Chinese halal fast food places. Serving equals Chinese equals, mushi pork is usually served with rice in China. Mushi Lu, the gravy variation, is more often served with noodles and soft tofu. Equals American Chinese style equals, in America, mushi pork is served with a small dish of hoisin sauce and several warm, steamed, thin, white tortilla-like wrappers made of flour, called mushi pancakes, bar obcng or just called mandarin pancakes. These are similar to those served with Peking duck. In the late 20th century, some North American Chinese restaurants began serving Mexican-style flour tortillas, which are thicker and more brittle, in place of the traditional mushu wrappers. The mushu pork is then wrapped in the mushu pancakes, which are eaten by hand in the manner of a soft taco. The diner may wrap his or her own pancakes. In some Chinese restaurants, waiters or waitress will do so. First, a small amount of hoisin sauce is spread onto the pancake 
then some mushi pork is placed in the center of the pancake. The bottom of the pancake is folded up, then the sides of the pancake are folded or wrapped, in the manner of a soft taco. 1. Unlike the practice in wrapping a burrito, the top is usually not folded over, as the pancake is generally eaten immediately and thus there is no danger of the food falling out of the top, which is the part that is eaten first. Because the dish often contains a great deal of liquid, care must be taken that the pancake does not become soaked through and break during rolling or eating. Etymology There are two primary histories for how the name of this dish is to be written and explained. One story gives the name as eo one euro e per mil. The last character e per mil means meat, and refers to the pork in the dish. The first part eo one euro is the name for the sweet osmangles, a small ornamental tree that produces bunches of small and fragrant blossoms that may be yellow or white. Scrambled eggs have an appearance that remind people of the mixed yellow and white flowers, so eo one euro is a poetic way of referring to the scrambled eggs used in preparing this dish. Additionally, at Chinese Confucian death anniversary celebrations, the Chinese word for egg is avoided when referring to dishes containing eggs, as many Chinese curses contain this word. Thus, the word da n was typically substituted using the euphemism sweet osmangus. By this reasoning, in this version of the dish's name, the first character, eo is short for eo2 euro cubed and e is short for eish plus or minus. The second way of writing the name of this dish that is commonly seen in Chinese restaurants in the United States is eo3 e per mil. The second character e means whiskers and is often given an additional determinative component in writing so that it comes to be written as ish. It is possible that eo3 e per mil might have been used on the menus of the first American Chinese restaurants to serve the dish in place of the correct compound eo z e per mil due to haste or simply because of the limitations of Chinese typewriters. It may also merely have been the result of writing the wrong character with a similar pronunciation. Two additional explanations of the name have unclear origins and may be examples of folk etymology. There is a neighborhood with a similar name in Beijing called Muidi, which is home to the Muidi train station. The dish is also occasionally also called a e per mil, meaning alfalfa meat. See also List of pork dishes References